dimension from a different universe beyond infinity, and he fell to Earth with a bump into Mike King's wardrobe. It's not easy stepping out into an alien world where anything can happen. But who is the mysterious stranger who answers to the name of Angelo? Ask Rita King, whose world is turned upside down when Angelo comes to stay. Watch the show. It's Mike and Angelo. The Angelo patent pending peppermint powered telly. <laughs> celebrated her 24th birthday today but the feathers were flying at apple's hen party earlier today as some of her overexcited chicken chums turned the birthday bash into an out and out cough fight Ooh. well it's like we at news reporter are always saying it's getting harder and harder to make hands meet <laughs> <laughs> now this is rita king for news report saying good night oh. good night <laughs> harder and harder to make hands meet she's good that girl <laughs> Gas bill, electricity. Angelo, I thought I told you to get rid of that thing. But I've just got to do one or two. It's more. done enough damage already. Now get it out. <sighs> oh. These are all bills. Oh. I thought they were all yours. Angelo! <laughs> this house cost a fortune to run. You don't help with your crazy stunts. I've just had to fork out 20 pounds to get Mrs. Pinner a new shopping trolley because you decided to attach rocket motors to the wheels of her old one. Oh, well. I just thought she'd like to be able to whiz down to the supermarket at the speed of sound. Yes, well, we'll be able to ask her when she gets out of hospital. <laughs> what I am trying to explain is that there's more money going out of this house than there is coming in. Right, so what are we going to do? Well. I have one suggestion. We make a big effort not to waste gas and electricity. We start growing our own vegetables in the back garden, and I stop using the car so much and get myself a bicycle. That's three suggestions. <laughs> I know. I know. There is another answer to all this. Oh, yeah? What's that? Start printing our own money, perhaps? No. Why don't you ask your boss for a rise? Oh, what? Me ask Mrs. Roper. Get out of here. <laughs> Why not? Oh, Ellie, you met Mrs. Roper. It'd be like asking Cruella de Vil to part with one of her Dalmatians. <laughs> it must be worth a try. I am telling you, the woman is as tight as a gnat's corset. Well, I was watching you on Angelo's telly thing, and you were brilliant. Wasn't she, Angelo? <laughs> oh, yeah. You were the best thing on the whole show, Rita. That making hens meet gag. <laughs> I'm still chuckling now. <laughs> Well, we'll be mad not to pay you more money. You deserve it. Well, I... Why don't you ring her now? She always works late at the office. Uh, look, guys, let, let's not rush anything here. Strike while the iron's hot. She who hesitates, levitates. <laughs> um, well, they do where I come from anyway. I'm not sure. Then what have you got to lose? Yeah. Go for it, girl. Come on, get those digits dialing. Oh, perhaps you're right. Maybe I am being undervalued. Maybe, maybe I should be getting more. Remember, you pay peanuts, you get a monkey. <laughs> no, you're right. Bananas, but right. Nobody apes around with Rita King. <laughs> Hello, get me Joan Roper. And make it snappy. News report, Roper. Oh, Mrs. Roper, I, I'm, I'm glad I caught you. I, I just, just, just wanted to have a quick word. Who is this? What do you want? Oh, it's me, Rita. Oh, Rita King. Oh. Mrs. Roper, I... Ah. <laughs> uh, how, how are you? The same as I was an hour ago when you left, only busier. <laughs> Right, well, d don't overdo it. <laughs> you know what they say, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> Jack who? <laughs> what are you burbling about? What is it exactly that you want? Yes? Right, I'll, um, I'll come straight to the point. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll lay my cards on the table. Uh, the thing is, Mrs. Roper, I, 
I was wondering. Uh, oh, now I, I, I don't mean this to sound as though I don't appreciate what a what a wonderful boss you are, and um, and how lucky I am to to be working in your department. But but, but I I was wondering. It, oh, it, for it, crying it, out loud, girls, spit it out. I was. I was wondering if I could have a raise. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, M Mrs. Roper. You, <laughs> Rita King. I have to say that I am disappointed. I didn't have you down as a lick penny loafer. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I saw you as someone I could rely on, a trustworthy colleague. I am. I thought that you derived some satisfaction from your work. I, I do. Oh, Rita, Rita, Rita. You do not realize the budgetary burden that I have to carry on these broad shoulders. Cuts left, right and center. Juggling the figures. Having to borrow from Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> it's enough to make a grown executive weep. If you knew the half of it, my girl, you wouldn't be bothering me for more money. You'd be begging me to reduce your salary. Oh. So, let's have no more of this foolishness and let's concentrate on the job in hand. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, by the way, I've got some files that I'd like you to take a look at over the weekend. I'll drop them round tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, what did she say? So? She how much extra money is she giving you then? Oh, why do I listen? Why? Why? Tell me why! <laughs> What's sure, he's around somewhere. But you seem to have cheered up a bit today. Oh, there's no use getting hung up about money. I've decided to do what I always do when cash problems are getting me down. What? Go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, Angelo, if, uh, if Mrs. Roper turns up before I get back, will you apologize and tell her I won't be long? Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, bye. See you later. Yes, yes, bye-bye. Oh, I think it's really rotten of Rita's boss not to put up her wages. Hmm. I just wish there was something we could do to help. Maybe there is. Mrs. Roper's coming round here, right? Yeah. To see Rita at home. So? Maybe there is something we can do to get the old skin flint to change your mind. What do you mean? What are you talking about? There isn't much time. Listen, it's quite simple, really. All we have to do is this. got the wrong house. I was looking for Rita King. Yes, yes, this is Rita's house. She'll be back shortly. Come in. Come in. Come and wait in the sitting room. Do so. I'm sure she won't be long. Well, no, don't get up. Long time, no see. You're, um... Angelo, you remember? Oh, yes, who could forget? <laughs> Where's my manners, Mrs. R? Let me get you a nice cup of tea. Uh, no, 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 that's all right. Angelo, are you sure this is going to work? My dear girl, do peanuts whistle? No, don't. Oh. Just do exactly what I said, and we can't go wrong. Now, Ellie, see what she's doing. She's coming over here. Since we have visitors, we'll use the uh, best china, I think. <laughs> ah, it's only been used about 17 times. 
You should get a decent brew out of it. Sugar Ellie. Oh, I'll see what she's doing. What's happened to this place? Last time I was here, it wasn't like this. Milk, Mrs. Roper? Uh, yes. Won't be a moo. <laughs> Stand still, Daisy. Mm. Stop it. You're so lucky, Mrs. Roper. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> it's, it's a biscuit. <laughs> I know. Isn't it wonderful? I haven't seen one of these for ages. <laughs> Ellie! The biscuit! Wasn't Rita saving that to have as a treat on Christmas Day? <laughs> it's a bit of old cheese in the mouse trap. We can have that at Christmas instead. Oh, that's true. Oh, it makes your mouth water to think about it. What's going on here? You can't expect me to believe that you live like this. Oh, no. Oh, you thought that... <laughs> you she thought that we... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we tidied the place up when we knew you were coming round. We don't usually have luxuries like food and drink in the house. Indeed not. This is a veritable bean feast. Come on, Mrs R. Eat, drink and be merry. Cheerio. This is ridiculous. Why are you living in this squalor? Well, our Rita's not one to complain. Many a time we've heard her say, we may be poor and hungry, but we're happy. <laughs> I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Words fail me. Where's Rita now? Oh, she's at work. <laughs> but Saturday's her day off. Not that work. One of her other jobs. Other jobs? These are hard times, Mrs. R. On Saturdays, you'll find her selling hot dogs in Oxford Street. And in the evening, she works as a minicab driver. I'm not forgetting her early morning cleaning job. And to think that only yesterday she asked me for a raise and I turned her down flat. Oh, oh you mustn't blame yourself. We'll struggle on. Somehow. Enough. Tell Rita to report to my office first thing Monday morning. I've come to a decision. I'm going to double her salary. And it's me that's driven her to this. Oh, oh Mrs. Roper. Rita. I, uh, I've been to Oxford Street. I know all about it. But believe me, my dear, you have chopped your final onion. Onion? It's time to hang up that ketchup-stained apron. What? No more pounding the pavements peddling frankfurters for you, my girl. Uh, <laughs> what have you got there? Oh, uh... New hat. <laughs> and a uh, pair of trousers. Oh, but, but they, they were half price. And uh, a new pair of shoes. Uh, what do you think? I've been duped. That's what I think. Taken in hook, line and sinker. Well, their sordid little plan to squeeze more money out of me has fallen flat on its ugly little face. What? I've got one thing to say to you, Rita King. What? You're fired! <laughs> what? Dear producer of News Report, in my opinion, getting rid of Rita King was the stupidest thing you've ever done. I shall never watch your programme again, sign. Oh. To whom it may concern, whoever sacked Rita King should have their head examined. She was the best thing on the tent. Oh, really? <laughs> What? <laughs> News report, Roper. <laughs> yes, I am responsible for sacking Rita King. <laughs> I'm sorry that she's your favourite TV presenter, but... Uh, what was that? <laughs> Hello, yes? Yes, I am the person responsible for sacking Rita King. <laughs> There's no need to be abusive. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yes, what now? <laughs> I didn't realise it was you, Sir Roland. <laughs> uh, well, uh, yes. You could say it was my fault that Rita King's employment here was prematurely terminated. 
Yes, Cyril, and I did soccer. Oh, <laughs> you've also received hundreds of letters from Angry Rita King fans. <laughs> yes, Cyril, and I know you're the controller of the television station. Uh, yes, Cyril, and I can see the demonstration. <laughs> oh, no, there isn't. <laughs> There is a large airship with don't be a cheat, bring back our reet painted on it. <laughs> yes, Sir Roland, I can see it. Yes, Sir Roland. No, no, Sir Roland. No, 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 Sir Roland. I'm very, very sorry, Sir Roland. I'll go around to Rita King's house immediately and tell her she's got her job back. What did I do this time, Pilfer? The paper clips? Rita. <laughs> nice to see you. May I? Ah, oh, why not? I haven't got a job to go to, so I've nothing else to do. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm here. Uh, to gloat, perhaps. Oh, no, 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 no. To offer you your job back, of course. Oh, I see. Aren't you pleased? Well. <laughs> I do seem to remember, and it was only a few days ago, you accusing me of uh, a sordid little plan to squeeze more money out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, things did get a mite overheated. But let's put that behind us and get back to our friendly working relationship. How about it? Uh-uh. Uh but Rita, I need you. No way. Look, I'll be perfectly frank. Everyone wants you back. I want you back. Sir Roland wants you back. All your fans want you back. All my fans, huh? Yes. Yes, the studio's been inundated with letters and phone calls. People with placards have been demonstrating in the street. Really? <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> Please, Rita, I'm begging you. My job's on the line here. Oh, I don't know. You know, as a matter of principle... I'll double your salary. Done. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rita, may I phone Sir Roland and let him know the good news? Sure. Help yourself. In the living room. Thank you. inundated with letters. Demonstrations in the street. <laughs> oh, Rita King, your troubles are over. Oh, Rita. Are you doing behind the door? I've been down to the TV studios. I've written hundreds of letters asking for them to take you back. I marched up and down. I even know You are a nasty piece of work. And as for you, Rita King, I have one thing to say to you. What? You're fired! <laughs> no, it's all right, Rita, don't panic. All is not lost. I've got this great idea how to get your job back can't fail. <laughs> it's simple, really. All I do is I tell Mrs. Roper I'm a famous Hollywood film director and I saw Rita on the telly and I want to sign her up for my latest movie, Axie Joni! Axie Joni! And b -b 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 Bob's your uncle. She'll give you your job back and triple your wages. <laughs> hey, Roper baby! Get with the beat! I'm a sign up for <laughs> She didn't believe you? No. No. No, I don't think she did. <laughs> <laughs>